Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Uh, this one's going to be a very special one. This one's been in the making for a while. Uh, this is the vibe result video. Before we get into it, I thought we'd do something a little different. I'm going to put all four vibes on together and just see how much of a human lava lamp I can turn myself into. Let's take a listen. <clears throat> Okay, so that's something I've wanted to do for a little while. Um, sounds kind of crazy. I guess if you took your time tweaking it, you could probably get it to sound pretty damn good. Um, but I mean, who's going to carry four vibes on a board? It was just, just an experiment. Let's just get into the video anyway. Okay, we're going to go straight into the results, man. This is going to knock a few people off their feet. The reason I've done it blind, I talked to a few people and, and the way I was thinking myself is I like the idea of using areas uh, more than following a badge um, because in my experience sometimes you might follow a badge and the badge might not provide the tones that you're looking for so following New Year's was the idea of this video I'm gonna get the results okay what we've done is I left it run I wanted it to go over a thousand views um, thank you so much for all like the responses and all there's a couple of real good years out there um, but I'll get to them in a bit the results are, I had Vibe A, Vibe B, Vibe C, Vibe D. Vibe D came in with 11 votes, Vibe C came in with 2, Vibe B came in with 6, and Vibe A came in with 8. Okay, so before I reveal what they are, I'm going to just put this out there. I think Univibes are one of those and especially after doing this video, one of these kind of um, effects that you really have to be in the room with um, to understand what they do. Some vibes work better with volume, some vibes need volume. Um, so yeah, you know, this this was a recording as, as good as I could, so um, yeah, let's not, let's, not, let's not beat around the bush. I'm gonna reveal what they were. Vibe A, oh, sorry, and the three people who got it right, uh, T Crow, Peter Bramford, Mojo Blues. You guys have got fantastic years. There's not a hope in hell I would have been able to pick that out, uh, but you guys were, were bang on the money. So Vibe A was the Sir Henry, Vibe B was the Delta, C was the uh, Voodoo Vibe clone, and Vibe D was the Korg, the new Vibe, modded by Venus Witch. Now, I can't say how the Korg new Vibe sounds on his own. Never played one. Because probably, you know, I should, I'm going to have to be honest, I, I was I put off it because I thought it was like a digital one and I needed these photo cells. Turns out by the majority of the people you don't. Also another disclaimer, sorry, I've got a lot to catch up on. Vibe B, uh, sorry, Vibe C and D, I said that they were digital. They, both makers have corrected me or um, the guy from Voodoo Vibe and Steve at Venus, which put me right, they, they are actually analog. Um, so yeah, that's worth noting. But yeah, Vibe D was Korg, the new vibe, um, which shocked me. Listening back, I had to go with Vibe D being my second favorite. Vibe A was my favorite. Vibe A is my favorite in the room, 100%. And then it's D and B. Um, I think they each have strengths. Uh, vibe C might be getting overlooked here, and I probably didn't do it the justice I could because the beauty of Vibe C is the parameters you can tweak. Now, I'm not a parameter tweaking type of guy, uh, but when it comes to these uni vibes, it was quite, kind of nice to have the extra. So, Vibe C, I stuck a video out uh, called Ishi The Last Wild, and that was using Vibe C. That was using this little uh, powerhouse, the Voodoo Vibe clone. The reason being is the, the vibrato on it, that you can really make it wobble, proper wobble, like under the sea, and almost too much, but 
the, the beauty of having that being able to push so much over means you can really kind of like push the limits. So I, I'm definitely keeping the Voodoo Vibe clone um, because for recording, for doing that kind of thing, it's really cool. Uh, the, the Sir Henry to me is the best in the room. That feels like it's pushing air around and I ain't following a badge. I don't know nobody, nothing for this video. That's me being honest as I always am. Um, yeah, and the Delta Vibe and new, well, Delta Vibe, to be honest, is probably my second favorite, thinking back on it, playing through both. And then the new Vibe, um, and then the Voodoo Vibe. But like I said, they, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. The, the new Vibe's really cool because you've got the foot controller, and it does sound very good. You can alter the parameters. The Delta Vibe's amazing because it is pedal board friendly. Um, the Voodoo Vibe's also pedal board friendly, but you can got a few extra parameters in it. And the Sir Henry, to me, is just, it, it ticks my boxes. It feels real. Um, I don't have to have the intensity. I have the intensity of midday on that thing, and that's enough. And I like it deep, man. I like it real deep. I'm a human lav lamp, you know? Um, and I like it deep, and the intensity, like midday-ish on that, is, is enough. You know, um, before I used to get the intensity and everything and kind of dime it and I'd be like, it'd be one of those effects if you don't get it right, it'd be like, oh man, is this even on? You know, none of these pedals are like that. These are all fantastic pedals. If you're looking for vibe pedals, these are all great. That being said, I'm going to stick true to my word. We are going to look into D. Um, I'm going to play it through and get the foot pedal out and I'm going to show you again how that sounds. Thank you so much for being here. I know there's been a bit of talking in this one, guys, and it kind of had to be. I'm sorry about that, um, but I wanted to lay things out there and explain it to you. Um, I've got a lot of stuff coming. I bogged down with work at the minute, so it's just fantastic to uh, be putting the content out. We crossed 4,000 subscribers. I'm ready to smash it and put in as much as I can. Lessons, artist lessons. We've got another great artist lesson coming soon. You are not going to want to miss this one. Um, yeah, this is Richie from Fret Junkies. Subscribe, like, and share where you can. Big love to everyone, stay safe, peace.